See, chocolate's scary because you can get a lot of powder in and not realize what you've done to yourself until like an hour later. It is days like today that I really enjoy doing what I do. I hope that that continues. Uh, before we get into this, where is it? Right there. You see that skateboard hanging behind me? Thank you to everyone if you are watching this video and you picked up one of these boards. This was an April Fool's Day joke. It's a hot sauce graphic. It's like my pro skateboard. Um, I'm not a professional skateboarder. It was an April Fool's Day joke that Andy and the people at Revive, my skateboard company, played on me. And uh, they actually manufactured um, a, a few hundred of them and they sold out. Uh, pretty quickly um, on the only day that they were going to be available. So if you picked one up, thank you very much. All right, on to this. This is ink. This is made by the Inferno Candy Company. I have no idea how hot it is, but before we get into it, I want to show you how beautiful it is. Um, I actually already unwrapped this and it actually, it snapped in half, unfortunately, in the transport to me. But it's still mostly here, so I want to show it to you. And show you how freaking beautiful this thing is. It's like a, it's like a sarcophagus, like it's like a coffin top or a sarcophagus door kind of situation. Freaking okay. First of all, the back of it is covered in macadamia nuts. Macadamia nuts are amazing. King nut. So now I'll show you the front of it. So this is what the front of it, the skull falls off. So I need to be very careful. Look at how detailed and amazing this is. Whatever they use as the mold, it's awesome. Excellent job, people at Inferno Candy Company. Okay, now that we've checked out what it looks like, let's see what we got going on here. I have no idea how hot or not this product is. Um, based on how beautiful it is and how ornate and time consuming I'm sure that is to make, um, I think it's going to be pretty freaking hot. So let's find out. So if you go to Inferno Candy Company's website, UK Ink, this is the blackest, most delicious and downright creative chocolate bar we've, we've made to date. I completely agree with you. This thing is freaking beautiful. Uh, not to mention we've added a mound of macadamia nuts along with dragon's breath and seven pot primo peppers. Dear God, those are hot peppers. Uh, you'd be asking yourself, do I hang on a do I hang it on a wall or try my luck at eating it? Uh, why settle for the ordinary when we can have the extraordinary? This item is extremely hot. It's a three and a half ounce bar. And on their list, they're putting it extremely hot. So it's not, I dare you, it is extremely hot. Or maybe they've changed. No, I dare you is extremely hot. This is the I dare you version of it. Fun. How much should I eat? I don't want to eat this. This is too pretty, especially if it was like all together into one piece. Unfortunately, see, it's the, the skull fell off, which is the, the most unfortunate part. Um. Okay. It smells so good. Um, all right, the ingredients are. Powdered sugar, powdered milk, cocoa powder, macadamia nuts, cocoa butter, salt, dragon's breath, and seven pot peach peppers. So there's definitely powder in the skull. I'm wondering if there's pepper or powder in the, like, I wonder if they're separate, you know what I'm saying? Like, is there's like, is like the peach powder in the skull and the um, Dragon's breath is just in the uh, like the, the the black sarcophagus lid or something like that. I don't know the answer to the question. Um, I don't know. Let's freaking find out. Let's get a little bit of all of it. So, let's do a piece of the skull, a piece of the sarcophagus, and a little bit of the macadamia nuts. I want more. I want more macadamia. macadamia. All right. So we got we got a little bit of everything here. Let's see what happens. First of all, it's tasty. Man, this is good. Super soft, buttery.
sweet. <clears throat> it's sweet like white chocolate. There is a lot of powder in this. This is very hot. And it's kind of concerning to me. As I continue to eat it. Chocolate's scary because you can get a lot of powder in and not realize what you've done to yourself until like an hour later. Um, it's delicious, it's soft, <clears throat> it's buttery, it's creamy, it's sweet. Like I said, it's um, it's kind of weird because it's like, like it's physically black, but it tastes like I'm eating a white chocolate bar. Um, it's it's delicious, it's incredible. Um, I would say that if you ate this entire thing, this would be a, this would be like a challenge product to like take down the entire thing. Um, I'm crying, and the top of my head is sweating. Where am I in heat? The burn is on my on my tongue wings, in the tip of my tongue, slight back of the throat, and not, it's kind of leaving me alone up here, in here, which is kind of nice. See, it's kind of hard, it's hard to call a number on this. I'm gonna say I'm I'm in the middle of a three though. Three, not quite a four, but it's probably sitting at a or like a really solid to high, solid to high three, but not yet a four. Oh, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, if you have not checked out the Inferno Candy Company, please do. They take um, basically what they do is they're taking normal snacks or normal items and then they make it hot. I've collaborated with them on two different items, like the Brian Names Dorjitos and the Brian Names Hot Fries, um, which are both fantastic, so please check this out. Um, all right, in the description below, is gonna be a link to this. Um, super solid chocolate bar. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever made. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.